welcome to the program again. Now, well, today we've got a very special show, but before we start, uh, it would be very nice if you could help me out with a like, share and subscribe. It would really help the channel if you could do that for me. And uh, let's just keep it on going with some new shoes, because right now I have for you a very special edition shoe that came out a couple of years ago. It is, thusly, in a Nike, shiny Nike box. Let's open up and see what we have here. Because we have inside a collaboration between Nike and a particular music type character. We have here indeed the Nike Cortez Kenny 4, the basic slip. This was, uh, it says house shoes on it because it's to be used as slippers. It's basically, it's Kendrick Lamar's shoe. Um, now I would have recited some of his lyrics, but I'd be in trouble, so I won't. Um, <laughs> anyhow, um, nice little design here. Um, you've got the swoosh here in, in this uh, what fabric I would consider to be a bit like um, drill, I suppose, but it's uh, sort of uh, meshy. And on the other side, it's simply outlined, if you can see that, in the orange stitch. So I quite like that. A little bit about the shoe. This is a shoe that um, Nike designed, but it was a bit of a fight on their hands because it was designed originally for uh, a Japanese brand that Phil Knight was um, working as an agent for, and he designed the shoe essentially for them. Then they didn't want it, or also there was some kind of um, contractual dispute. He ended up not being an agent anymore and starting his own company and they wanted to make these shoes. And then there was a big lawsuit um, about who had the right to make them. Nike won and was able to make the shoe, but under a different name, I believe. And so we got the Cortez. Um, now, I think I'm, I'm, I'm told there's a, a good reason that Kendrick Lamar loves the Cortez. It's very, very popular in Los Angeles um, among certain certain groups. And so that's why he chose this shoe. This is obviously the fourth version of his series of shoes. And uh, yeah, at the bottom you see it's just your typical Cortez with the herringbone and your typical sort of... Uh, uh, midsole of uh, with your old like a PVC type, well PVC, PVC, polyurethane. Now we do have inside here a double tongue. So there's one tongue on the outside, another one on the inside. Now uh, see the little tag, I just give, give some credit to StockX where I got these. I was able to get them at a very reasonable price and I would recommend them to everybody who's looking for these sort of rare shoes to get them a, a sensible, well, a relatively sensible price. It's a stock market for shoes, so I recommend it. Yeah, of course, it goes without the laces. Most Cortezes have laces. This one is uh, it's intended as a slipper, so the laces aren't present. We have this tightening system here, which I don't think actually does anything. I think it's just for show, which is, you know, it's a nice little design piece. You've got your Nike on the back. House shoe on the tongue with the with the old uh, band here covering over the Nike logo, and I think you can get underneath and have a look at it. But why would you want to? And then you've got your grey sort of double tongue over the top with your grey toe patch, which makes it quite different from other Cortezes, which have a more of a full toe box, I believe. And then, well, I do. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I like this also this orangey bit in the midsole. You've got your stripe running along here. You're going to have a quick look to see how you've got lovely quilted inner insole. Really nice quilted pattern in there. Oh, and a message which says, and I'll read it for you now. Nike Cortez, preferably wear with shorts and tall socks. So this then is uh, Kendrick's advice, I guess, for 
fashion. I, mean, I can imagine him doing that. Because um, <laughs> I've seen him in pictures. So, yeah, generally a nice shoe. Quite a comfy shoe. I've worn Cortez's before. And to be honest, if any shoe was deserving to be made into a slip-on indoor shoe, this would be the one, I think. Um... Because, yeah, just generally a very comfortable upper, generally. And uh, not as comfy under feet because, of course, it's an older shoe with an older, harder sort of midsole than you would get nowadays. But generally, this is a really nice shoe. A uh, really nice colour scheme and design. I'm a big fan. And, yeah, one of my uh, favourites to keep in good nick. <laughs> and uh, a good piece of my collection. Anyhow, I will add, by the way, that while I'm talking about StockX, you can get these for a very reasonable price on StockX, uh, not much more than retail, uh, I believe, now. So that's um, a pretty good thing to look at getting if you're looking for a limited shoe that's reasonably priced and, and relatively um, high profile, really. Anyhow, I'll say this now. This is uh, enough for today. I think we've had a good discussion on the shoe. So I'll leave you. And one thing I will say uh, to leave you with is please do like, share, sub share and subscribe. And tomorrow, or, well, maybe not tomorrow, but we'll see. Nearly every day we get to do a video. I'll try and get one up for you tomorrow. And, well, anyway, whenever we do it, see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.